The original High School Musical heartthrob Zac Efron has come a long way since his Disney days and he's venturing off into new projects. Down to Earth with Zac Efron premieres this upcoming month on Netflix and although he's still showing off his ripped bod, the new show looks a lot deeper than just that. Do I have a safe word? What are we getting ourselves into? When he's not traveling the world, acting or working, Zach has quite the place to call home in Hollywood, which we'll be taking a look at as well as his previous place. His multi-million dollar house is a contemporary, zen-like retreat in the hills, and we even found the listing. Zach Efron is an actor and singer who began his career professionally in the early 2000s and rose to prominence for his role as Troy Bolton in the High School Musical trilogy. You guys asked for some house tours on Disney stars, so here you go. Since his days as a teen heartthrob, he's kept himself busy, taking on a variety of projects that either show the much lighter or much darker sides to a character's personality he can play. I mean, there were comedies like Dirty Grandpa, which I love, Baywatch, and who could forget when he played Ted Bundy. I promise you'll never leave me this. It's about another missing girl, isn't it? Ted, did you do it? Although Zach has taken his workout regimen down a notch from his Baywatch days, he's still giving fans this wet and shirtless scenes they love in his upcoming Netflix show. But he said, I realized that when I was done with that movie, I don't ever want to be in that good of shape again. Really, it was so hard. You're working with almost no wiggle room. You've got things like water under your skin you're worrying about. Making your six pack into a four pack like that, that's just not, it's just stupid. It's just not real. Whatever Zach wants to do with his fitness, he's still amassed quite the success over his years in Hollywood and just keeps going. His current estimated net worth is at $25 million or more, and you can bet it's bought the man some nice homes. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys requested this one, so today we'll be looking at where Zac Efron calls home, like his zen retreat in Hollywood, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. The Boston house tours and likes of Demi Lovato and Billie Eilish, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we take a look at Zach's current home, let's see the one he recently sold. Prior to his Hollywood Hills home he's living in, he's lived in another one close by, in Hollywood Hills West. He bought this house back in 2008 for $2.35 million according to public records. Apparently this was more of Zach's party pad from his wilder days, and I guess it was time for a fresh start. Selling it in 2014 for over $2.7 million, he closed the door on his last piece of life as a young Hollywood bad boy. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, Zach had two stints in rehab and a visit to LA's infamous Skid Row that made him want to make changes. Following the period in his life where he struggled with addiction, Zach sought out more zen in his life and started with his home. But we'll look at the current one in just a sec. The house that served as the backdrop to the darker period in the actor's life was an industrial style, single level home tucked away in the hills. Zach's previous house had a lot that spanned nearly a third of an acre and inside covered 2,424 square feet with two beds and three baths. The home was designed for the famed case study program by Rodney Walker and built just afterwards in 1947 using those plans. It was subsequently renovated 50 years later with a big renovation in 1980 and modern updates over the years. Now the home has a super modern vibe, offering open plan spaces and plenty of walls of glass throughout. There's one fireplace in Zach's previous Hollywood house, mind you it's a unique three-sided fireplace, and it sits in the common area where the living room is. There are heated concrete floors and corrugated metal surfaces that also add to the industrial vibe of the place. Whole walls of glass open in every room for a seamless indoor-outdoor flow and beautiful natural lighting. The structure embodies the ideal California lifestyle with its design and there's a custom open kitchen with wolf range and sub-zero appliances. We can also see that the master suite isn't the only room here with an attached bath, but it definitely gets perfect access to the outside patio. Elsewhere, there's another sprawling terrace on what looks like to be the roof, with room to dine or simply lounge in the sun. Situated up on a gated driveway on a flat, lush lot, outside of Zach's previous home, you'll also find a unique infinity pool with ozone system. Moving on to Zach's current Hollywood abode, like I said, he purchased this home in 2013 looking for a fresh start, and he still currently lives here, so I'm guessing it was all he expected and more. This place cost him $3.995 million, and it's set high in the Hollywood Hills with gorgeous panoramic views of Los Angeles. Zach, this view is amazing! 
Thanks, bro. Nice. Zach's home is nestled in the trendy hillside neighborhood of Los Feliz in central LA. It's a relaxed area that, according to Wikipedia, draws both established up and coming creative types. It borders the sprawling Griffith Park and encompasses part of the Santa Monica Mountains, making for some great hikes and scenery. Other celebs love this area too, with Zach's neighbors including the likes of Kristen Stewart, Rose McGowan, Naya Rivera, and more. His current house is actually just a short five miles from his previous one we just looked at, so he clearly likes the neighborhood. The home was marketed by listing materials as zen-like and that it is. It's contemporary and clean in the design and size-wise it's a definite upgrade from Zach's last home. Set back behind gates at the end of a long driveway and almost an acre of land, Zach's secluded home gives him the kind of privacy he needs. There's also a state-of-the-art security system so no need to worry about any paparazzi or stalkers making their way inside, that's for sure. Like I said, the zen retreat is bigger than his last house measuring in at 5,644 square feet of living living space with five beds and five baths. The notoriously private star did invite Vogue into his luxurious Hollywood Hills home for an episode of their 73 Questions series, well, kind of. So how'd you start your day this morning, Zach? Oh, uh, same as always. Every day, 50 push-ups, huge workout, I'm just kidding. It's more impressive than me. <laughs> what one person did you have on your wall when you were in high school? Oh, no kidding, Tyra Banks. Just, I had a poster. Tyra. She was in a purple bathing suit. He kept the tour to the outside of his house, particularly the expansive yard where he grilled up some food and showed off views of downtown LA. Not to worry though, we know what the inside looks like thanks to the listing and some old fashioned research. Do you remember every name that Dwayne Johnson called you in Baywatch? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place to hang out? Planet Earth. Do you have any bad neighbors? Mm, no, not really. Now Zach, when you're not working, what's one thing you love to do? Pretty much anything outdoors. Can you be any more specific than that? I don't know, surfing, skip, anything outdoors. Okay. What is the weirdest hidden talent that you're willing to share with us at the moment? Uh, I can blow spit bubbles with my tongue. And he no longer hangs a poster of Tyra Banks on his wall, but we see that Zach does have a life-size cutout of himself. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that's ever happened on set? Um, one time I tackled Macy Gray in my underwear. <laughs> and it was improv, so she wasn't expecting it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. I have no words for this. Inside the home, the modern design boasts light hardwood floors in most of the rooms, and there are plenty of floor-to-ceiling windows and glass sliders for an indoor-outdoor vibe. Zach's current home has some stairs inside, so it isn't single level like his last place. There are warm natural wood accents throughout and even skylights in some of the common areas. There's also a tranquil indoor pond by the kitchen and dining area, which is just one of the unique water features here. Speaking of the kitchen, it's a state-of-the-art chef's kitchen fitted with stainless steel appliances, a large center island, and eat in bar. If you prefer a formal dining setting, that room is just steps away. Zach's home offers multiple living areas to kick back and relax, one full of light with sliding doors to outside, another cozier den with fireplace, and even a games room with billiards table. Other features inside his estate include a wine cellar and a full home gym. Several of the five bedrooms offer views of both the city and ocean, many of which have access to a balcony or deck as well. Zach's master suite here has a fireplace and sprawling terrace, and the attached marble bath is spot style with glass enclosed shower. Moving outside of Zach's zen mini mansion, he has a large backyard with plenty of space to entertain and lounge, not to mention barbecue and grill area which the actor no doubt loves since he spends a lot of his time cooking outdoors. There's also a stunning pool and spa with waterfall and a separate guest house. Of course he also has garage and driveway space for his gorgeous cars like this one. Seeing how nice Zach's home is, I'm not surprised he stayed put at the zen like retreat for all these years. So now we've taken a look at former high school musical star Zac Efron in his spacious home in Hollywood as well as his previous place before that. The man has come a long way in his career and matured since moving on from his last home and we can even see that in his choice of real estate. I think his current house looks more established and matches his personality much better. Would you guys agree? Before I wrap things up, I'll read out a couple of comments from previous videos because you know I love hearing from you guys. From our Billie Eilish house tour, Magical Days wrote, I love how even in the new home and paying a few million, it's still homey, normal and just overall beautiful. 
beautiful. And on our Travis Scott updated house tour with his crazy yacht like mansion, the one and only YT said, Nice. Both Kylie and Travis have nice houses. They're also great parents to Stormy. I agree, but I think I like Kylie's new home a little better, but it's so hard to choose. Anyways, that's all I got on Zac Efron and his Hollywood properties, but I think we got a pretty good look. Which one of his homes did you like best? I like his current home most, and I think my favorite part was the gorgeous pool with views over Los Angeles. As usual, be sure to let me know in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next.